All right, we're just going to go over a uh, little on the valve train here as far as valve piston clearance. You're going to be biased more towards, uh, more worried about the exhaust hitting. And the reason for that is if your piston's coming up the top dead center, your exhaust valve is actually opening. So truth is you're more likely to hit an exhaust valve than you are an intake. The reason I say that high RPM, when the, when the piston's coming up, the intake valve's already starting to close. It's fairly simple. Piston's coming up, intake valve's closing, exhaust valve's starting to open. So therefore, you're more likely hitting an exhaust, exhaust valve on the pocket here. Uh, if you're unsure of what your heads are set up to, you should uh, put some clay down in the valve, down the valve pockets on the pistons here, or a little solder. I use clay, clay or solder, works good. Uh, put everything back on, put your, put your rocker arms on, adjust your, adjust your, uh, adjust your valves, then turn the motor over, and when it turns over, it's going to open, uh, it's going to open the valves up and leave an impression in the clay or solder, whatever you're using. Then you're going to take everything back apart, and you can, so you can see exactly what you have. Now, usually this would be more towards if you're doing bigger valves or a uh, thinner head gasket or higher lift cam. Higher lift at top dead center is what you're worried about. So what that means, you, you, you put a cam in there and it just say, not for this, but just for, say you had a 600 lift cam. Well, your TDC lift at that 600 lift cam is going to really depend on what the cam timing is for that particular cam. Because you could put a 600 lift cam in there and your, your top dead center lift might be less than it was with stock cam. It all depends on the cam timing. But that's about it. Just uh, And for these clearances, I'll go ahead and do this. I like to run at least 60 preferably more as much as you can now how you can do it you can actually cut these valve pockets down you have a, a little vice fixture for your piston and stick it in a bridge port use a little fly cutter and cut cut these pockets a little bit deeper when i say a little bit i mean a little bit 